Greetings, this is Daniel Tal from Placemaker, and I want to talk about our new Placemaker release, our version 2 of Placemaker. And one of the things that we can import in from OpenStreetMaps with our first version of Placemaker was trees. But the data set was limited. We didn't actually go and access the full set of what's available. In OpenStreetMaps, there's the forest set of data, and this will automatically import with the trees when you do this. And you can see that we're bringing in the data and creating 2D face me component trees in SketchUp as we place them into the file. These, these are various examples from real world locations, um, from New Jersey to Pittsburgh to the next one will be Yosemite National Park. All the green that you're seeing in there is all individual trees imported using the placemaker version 2 tree import feature. And I'm going to do a tutorial on how this works within Placemaker and walk you through a couple of steps of the process. We get our forest data from the OpenStreetMap system. And if you go to OpenStreetMap.org, and this is important, so OpenStreetMap.org, and you go look at the map, you can actually tell if there's going to be data for you to import into SketchUp using Placemaker from this map. It's a really useful way to go and check for a particular area. And what you're looking for is these tree symbols. So you have to zoom in very close. I'm looking at Fort Collins, Colorado. And it's one of the areas I actually did an example of. And I'm going to zoom in here. You have to zoom in all the way really tight and you'll see there's that tree symbol. I'm pulling out a little bit more, it's scaled back. But any area that you see in the openstreetmap.org map that has these tree symbols in it, you will be able to import into SketchUp and have it as a 2D face me tree with using Placemaker version two. I'm gonna show an example of what an area looks like that doesn't have any tree data. So here's the natural area, it's just a green open space and you can see that there's no tree symbols at all. So we're at openstreetmap.org and I'm going to check a location that I'm going to use for the tutorial to import trees in. And I'm zooming in to a location in Seattle and Schmitz Park and there's tree data there as well as some of the other locations around here. So we're going to go and see how this works in SketchUp. So we're going to use Placemaker and the native SketchUp location tool. Um, the native, you can find that under the menus. And the native SketchUp location tool will allow us to bring in terrain, which is what we want to do. Placemaker does not bring in terrain, but we can use the SketchUp location tool in tandem with Placemaker to bring in and create our model here. Uh, the two work very effectively. So we go to our location in Seattle and I'm going to zoom in to the area we just viewed in OpenStreetMap.org, the park, natural area, and I'm going to do the maximum screen here and import that into SketchUp. Got it centered. I'm going to click on Select Region, and then Grab. And then I'm going to flip back to SketchUp. Sometimes SketchUp minimizes, and there we have it. And I want to turn on the terrain for this location, so I'm going to use the SketchUp location tool again. The middle button allows you to toggle the terrain on and off. So there I toggled it on, and you can see we have some relief. Toggle it on, toggle it off, toggle it off again. And what we're going to do next is we're just going to use this aerial base. I'm going to open up Placemaker and I have my trees menu there at the way bottom. We select the aerial. Now to the right of the trees menu is this arrow. All the options in Placemaker have these kind of arrows, these additional settings. And we want to click on drop onto surface here. We want to check the box, drop onto surface. And again, you could see that all the features in Placemaker have additional submenus like this. And most of them have a drop onto surface option so you can model the roads, the buildings, even the high resolution imagery directly on a terrain. So we have the aerial selected. And we clicked, I'm going to click on trees. 
And you're going to see the hourglass appears next to the trees menu now. And we're going to wait for it. Oh, there it goes. It imported in our trees. It imported a variety of randomized 2D face me component trees into our model. Let's go inspect what we've imported. So I'm going to zoom in. And this is a low resolution aerial, so not a high resolution aerial, but the trees are still sitting on the terrain and the aerial. These are all a variety of 2D randomized face me component trees in SketchUp. And there's our final product. I'm going to run through another quick example. This is a high school in Austin, Texas. It has a forest behind it. We've imported in the buildings and the terrain and everything is sitting on a high resolution aerial I imported in using Placemaker's imagery option. So we're going to go and run the trees. So we're going to make sure that the trees menu is correctly selected. We selected the aerial. And then we go make sure that drop onto surface is selected before we click the option to run the trees import process. We're going to do that here now. Here you go, placemaker imported in all the trees. You can see them spread out and placed on the terrain. Doesn't get all the trees, but it def certainly gets a lot of them. So here's the 2D trees. I'm actually gonna go in and select this individual tree and edit the component to make the trees bigger, just to show you that this data that we bring in from the forest data set can be edited, scaled, you can swap them out. You can actually probably bring this data in to different rendering programs and use them as proxies. You can change the color, but here you go, placemaker 2. Um, brought in and imported all the tree data for you and placed it on the terrain. It doesn't have to be on a terrain, it can be on a flat surface as well, and this will work the same way. Thanks for watching the tree tutorial for Placemaker version 2. We have a lot of new features in this current version of Placemaker, and our long term mission is to bring you as much available data as we can. So stay tuned, we're working on that, and please enjoy Placemaker version 2.